In the kitchen, he's cracking on with the Italian tagliatelle for the starter. Well, it is Italian, but in my favourite bar, one of the favourite dishes I have is the seafood tagliatelle. I bought some fresh pasta. Fresh pasta? Not homemade. On your head, be it. The sardines, complete with eyes and tails, go under the grill. So they're in. And for vegetarian Delft, there's pasta without the chorizo and chicken, but still with the saucy sauce with plums. Oh, I hope you wash those scissors. I cheat with this and I just cut it up because it makes serving it just that bit easier. A quick cut of the tagliatelle and the sardines are hot off the grill. I think they're going to be surprised by how many different flavours and how many different dishes that I've just knocked up. Hopefully this will get me the grand. Well, if they're judging on quantity, you're in with a good chance. Here it is, Ibethan tapas with grilled sardines, tagliatelle and those all-important plums. Who wants the big one? Go on. No, Do you, thank a, you. Do you not like prawn? I don't fancy a sardine. Come on, there's a sardine for everyone. The fish come on the table and I was just... I was trying my hardest to avoid even looking at them. I knew they were there. You have that big sardine. Just make sure it's got your name first. Karen would back. like the sardine. Yeah, I'd like well, the big one. You can have the big Good one. Good on thank you, Karen. Can you manage to just scoop it off yourself? Yes. <laughs> Lovely. It looks every bit as good as I was hoping it might be. I like fish fingers. They don't look like fish. Is it the fact that it's got a head on and eyes? Is that what it is? Yeah. Just chop the head off. I don't think that's helping. <laughs> I'll do it, and I'm a vegetarian. Get over it. It's food on the table. Millions of people in the world don't have it. Crack on and eat it. I really did not want to eat it at all. I didn't want to try it. It was like... And I just thought, you know what, I've got to. I have to. I've tried everybody else's, so it's not really fair to not try his. Can I get you a little fillet of sardine for you to taste? Yes. Yeah. Oh, David, what a gentleman. There we go, Dad. And? It's nothing like fish fingers. <laughs> oh, horrible. There's a surprise. You're hiding something. What do you mean? I've tried sardine and it pained me to do so. I mean, really awful. You've hid yours. Do you not like sardines? Smell something fishy. Bloody love them. Oh, Let's all watch Mark eat his sardine. Do you want me to help eat you do it? Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Eat it. You just take the bone out, put it out of your mouth. It's not funny. Don't vomit. Are you OK? No. Oh! The there you are, there you are, darling. No! Just... no if you're going to, do it in there. I'm all right. That's very gracious of you, Karen. I took a, a big mouthful far too quickly. There was loads of little bones in my mouth. And then that whole sort of period in my head just led to me retching. I really liked the food, but everyone else hated it. <laughs> it couldn't have been more a flop if it tried. I think the starter went down OK. Really? Apart from... Mark almost vomiting with the sardines. Ah, that. The Ibefan tapas, I can't imagine would be found in a, in a restaurant in Ibefa, but uh, perhaps more likely to be found on the pavement of Ibefa. And as if Mark wasn't feeling queasy enough from the sardine... Who would like to see my bruise? Me! Yes. Just kick a man while he's down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Yes. Oh! That's huge! See what you did yesterday? So when... Pretty impressive. ..the whole of my party... Everyone. ..was screaming and laughing... Not me, Karen. ..and I repeatedly said... I'm a bit ..it opinion. is really so, it is really so, it is really so... Was it really so? You me. now, all of you, see the evidence... You should have said something. I was absolutely devastated when Karen lifted her leg up to show the bruise, because not only did I see the bruise, but I seen last week's underwear. I took a strange delight in stealing a bit of the limelight with my bruised leg. Since Karen's night's been over, she has been attention-seeking, sympathy-seeking. It's just getting a little bit tiring, to be honest. I mean, the table's got four legs as it is. We didn't really need to see a fifth tonight. It's Karen's night every night. 